Hi, Gay Deruso with Majestic Rider. So today I'm going to talk to you about have head problems with your horse. Um, some people have horses that throw their heads, some have horses that tuck their heads in too much, and some have horses that put their heads down and pull the reins out. Okay? So it's all about pressure and release. Um, they weren't born with the habits. The reason they got the habits is usually somebody's hanging on their mouth or somebody doesn't appropriately know how to use their hands and that bit keeps pulling on their tongue or the bit is uncomfortable for them and then it starts being a repetitive issue. So when you're um, using your hands, you can watch my soft hand videos, you're trying to be soft with your hands. So if you ask them to bring their head down, you know, once they bring their head down, then you're going to release. If you want them to bring their head up, once you bring it up, you're going to release. So how do you do those things? So to bring their head down, you apply pressure. When the horse brings their head down, then you release on. Now, if the horse brings its head down too much, sorry, he's backing away under the camera. So say the horse yanks its head down, you have to do something to make it feel uncomfortable. Because if it yanks its head down and it gets a release, then the horse learns to yank its head down. So if I have a horse that yanks its head down, he probably won't do it. But I usually slide my hand back and forth pretty quick. And you'll see me do that in the um, barn sour video. And I just do it quick and then I let go. Quick and then let go. You're trying to pop that horse's head back up. And so you're trying to give the release when their head up is not, and not when they're pulling down. So again, first you have to fix the problem, get so they're not pulling, and then you could teach them to have a nice headset after you've popped it up enough that they understand not to pull down on you anymore. So again, if they pull down real hard, you can uh, seesaw your hands back, but do it quick and get their head up. If they throw their head up, you're not going to seesaw real hard. You just hold pressure and slowly bring it down. That's usually a little bit easier. He's a little antsy because he wants to eat some grass. Okay. Now what about the horse that tucks its head way in? If you seesaw back and forth, they'll tuck their head in more. So what I usually do, and it usually works pretty well, is something like that. I just pick the rein up real quick. I just pick it up and it kind of yanks that bit in their mouth and it hits the um, bar to make it a little bit uncomfortable. So if it's um, tucked down too low, just a quick jerk up and I let go. If that didn't work, I might use the other rein. If that didn't work, I might do one, two. I might do one, two, three, four. But your keep trying to let go in between and if that horse lifts its head up that's when I release with the rein or I might stop and give a big praise so they understand that's what I want and you can do it at this if they'll do it at the standstill that's the easiest place to do it because once you add movement it always becomes much harder okay so remember if they throw their head up hold pressure wait till it comes down do it at a standstill if you can and if they're throwing their head way up high I always teach lateral flexion first then vertical flexion and then I start working on it. If they're putting their head down too low, I kind of pop it up, but I seesaw back and forth like that. Again, if they're throwing their head down and it's tucked in, like, um, you know, they're getting over the bit and their head's way tucked in, then it's just a quick jerk up. And it might, I do, might do it on the other side. I usually don't do both hands because if you do both hands, they'll usually lean on it. So just one hand and the other hand if that didn't work, and then maybe I do one and then the other.